Hello, this is Wednesday and I'm probably going to put this video up on Thursday and push back any of the other videos that I've already recorded. Um, this is like a basement update, although we're starting upstairs because this is where I had all of the plastic drawer units stored and they are now down in the basement. I had some help today uh, getting some stuff taken care of down there. Um, we've got uh, the rail system was used to get those empty drawer units down and a few other things. I go down here and take a look. So the first thing you see are those door units and some other things. Uh, there are 39 of them. I thought I had 40, um, but that's okay. Uh, we will get another one at some point to make them even. Uh, the, I like a couple of things about these. These are the Irish door units, and I got these from Joanne. One of the things I like is you can pull the top off, and then once you do that, you can take another unit and click it right into place on the top. So the bottom of the one unit goes into the top of this one without that top on. You can also separate them at each drawer. And so that allows you to, like, if you could only get three units high in a spot, but had room for three more drawers, you can actually pull it apart so that you have three more drawers to put in, and then it fits in nicely. Um, so that's a couple of reasons I like these units. There are some tote type things here and some other storage over here. These old uh, Sterlite drawer units. I have a bunch of those and some other things. Um, this plastic storage shelving was previously bought. Uh, I got this at Ollie's. Uh, we ran out of time putting them together, so we're going to do that at a different point. Uh, they were actually bought days ago. Uh, over here, I have some like shoebox style plastic plus other plastic in behind that I've accumulated. Some new, some used. Uh, basically, all down here now instead of upstairs. Those cardboard boxes are empty. I got empty Acro Mills boxes over here. And then this area here held all the excess Acro Mills drawers, which are no longer here. And we'll talk about that. Um, and then, of course, still all the used Lego over here. Now, I wanted to talk about the drawer units down here because we've changed things for the drawer units a little bit. Uh, originally, I was going to set it up so this side here was new and this side was used. And then identical thing here. This side was new, and this side was used, and this side was new. And the reason I did that was because I knew I needed more room for the bulk sets that I have purchased to part out. And I was going to need more of the large drawers. And so those new sides were set up with a 64, a 44, and then two 24s. And it was, it was great. I was ready to go. But the one thing I realized then is that I have all of this used. And this is not all of it. I have more totes upstairs that need to come down and a separate thing at some point we'll take care of. And so because of that, I decided to flop. And so now the front side is used and used and this will be new. And so what we did in here is we just flipped stuff. Same thing over here. We just flipped stuff. And then on the last side where we couldn't flip because there's no additional unit, we just pulled out the top three and then put the 44 back in, put the 64 back in got eight more 64s to put here and then I had an extra 24 that I reboxed for storage. And speaking of storage, we're going to look at the crouch space where all that storage is occurring. It's all been put in here. Turn the light on. Uh, and this is cleaned up. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's just storage really. And I got to really crouch down to get underneath all these ductwork things and whatnot. But over here, it opens up a little bit. And so you can see all my boxes for the Acro Mills lined up. And I got them organized. Now over here, I've got two different categories of 24 drawer units. One that are warped medium two and one warped low one. And what those are is basically the drawers are warped. Uh, and the medium ones are worse and the, the low ones aren't as bad. And, you know, I'm not sure. It's unfortunate that I had to deal with that. It's like you wish you got good product every time. It just doesn't happen that way. Um, and then I've got eight 64 drawer units that have stickers on them. I got those locally for only $10 a piece, so I couldn't pass that up deal. Then I've got some 64 drawer units that are just regular units. And then the same thing with the 24. So I got three stacks of those, although the last stack is small. And then this last stack, there's only five units. There are two 44s. There is a 64 and a 24 that I'm using to swap drawers out, like when I have a broken drawer or a discolored drawer, I'll swap out. And then one more, it's a 64 where there's no drawers. All the drawers are upstairs that I was using for parting out and sorting and that sort of thing. So 
that's just down here in storage. But at some point, we will move in the totes of the bulk used Lego so that it's not in the main area choking out space. We're gonna head back out now. And speaking of the extra drawers I have, I made a list so I know what I have. And this is what I have. Uh, I only have, I don't have enough of the 64s or the 44s to do an entire additional floater like these two here, the way I have it set up now. Now I could change my mind how I want the next section to set up. Maybe I decide I need more large drawers or more small drawers or something like that. At the moment, I don't have enough of the two uh, 64 or 44 drawer units. I have plenty of the 24s to do another one, although I'd have to dip into those warped ones, but I think I could do it with only using the warped one and not the warped two. So that is the situation down here. Um, we are continuing to, to move forward. I do also have some drawer units over here that are in Acromills boxes, but they're different. Uh, they're oriented vertically instead of horizontally. They're not quite as tall, and there's a little bit of gap there too. So they're not, they're smaller than the Acromills drawer units, but they're all large drawers. And those are going to be used for other things. I'm not 100% sure what, but I may uh, keep them in a slightly different spot so they don't get things confused. But yeah, I mean, we're getting there. Uh, we have cleared up that space. Now that space at the top of the stairs where I had the uh, drawer units previously, maybe where I move my sort station to, at least temporarily, uh, so I can then reclaim more of the living room as well because the living room is kind of choked out at the moment with stuff.